another day and another video welcome back to the channel everybody today we're watching prison break this is the fourth episode of the second season hope you guys have been enjoying it so far if you'd like to watch today's full episode it is available for free in the link in the description below just clicking it put a password in and enjoy so last episode was interesting we basically ended with michael and lincoln faking their own death now interestingly Bellic and Gary actually know that they're still alive. They're doing their own well, internal manhunt, kind of. They want the 100k if they catch Lincoln and Michael. They're going to be getting 400, 200 each, splitting it. You know, the reason why they're together is because um, Bellic, he went to the store, went to buy some jerky. Turns out that Roy is actually the guard there. They ended up having a scrap and then settling their differences on the outside, basically saying that the reason they're in this predicament is because of Michael Schofield and everybody else that's obviously escaped from the prison. They decided to work to together to hunt down the cons and by doing that they've obviously kind of looked into things they've looked into obviously uh michael's wife who's coming clutch for him she provided a vehicle after they obviously destroyed their own and uh you know cleverly michael last episode had um a cell phone he called it he knew that they would be listening he set a location he let them track them they went to the bridge drove it off there blew it up he had blood in the back as well to make it look like obviously they're the ones being uh killed even though they're not there it'll take him a few days for the forensics to actually come back and obviously um detail basically acknowledge that it wasn't them in the crash but by this time they're hoping to be long gone now interestingly you know we're not really seeing much of the side characters, you know, basically Sucre, uh, Cino, Teabag, or a Bruce there, especially Bruce this season. And we've definitely seen nothing of Haywire as well. So, obviously, last episode, like I said, it, we faked the deaths of them. And I don't know if that's going to segue into us seeing more of these other characters. We know that Sucre's gone to Vegas. Teabag's obviously driving towards um, the same place as actually Tweener. And I believe that Cino will actually go there after he meets his um you know meets his missus and uh tries to explain everything to her so it's going to be good when they all reunite in the same position but i am expecting a couple of them to get caught along the way um the new detective that's obviously in here is pretty exciting we learn again that he, there was a case that he was on last year or in the past that he's not really um succeeded with so basically the criminal start there is driving him crazy and he's also taking his tablets as well it's the second time we've seen it in the first three episodes so who knows if he's got an underlying health condition or you know if he needs him to kind of stay in the straight and narrow if michael can find out maybe he can manipulate him and get one step ahead who knows mate it's exciting thanks for checking out today's episode if you do enjoy it please smash the like really helps out subscribe if you're new and as always let's jump into today's episode what happens when you get to Mexico? Where will you go? It's best if you don't know. Notice it being followed. You do notice a car behind you. We got company. What the hell is Look at Bellic, he's loving it. You know, that's not how I would have approached that situation, but it's a success anyway, they can't get away. <laughs> oh, good to see you again, boy. It's not about reward money, friend. Your pal Manche told me all about your little treasure hunt. Going to Utah. <laughs> no way well i mean would they technically not be like an excess an accessory to escape do you know what i mean because if they was found with michael and lincoln driving them somewhere then obviously you know it looks like they're aiding them in getting the, getting away now that's interesting he's thinking do you know what right instead of getting a 400k from turning these two in let's get the five mil mate i kind of understand it to be honest but it's riskier you know i would actually ask them to tell me the location then i would have turned them over and then gone them myself that's what i would have tried to do well the excitement of the escape manche didn't hear everything westmoreland said for the old bird kicked the bucket but he heard enough utah and five million you'll fill in the blanks now you and your brother are gonna take me right to where that money is or the whore gets dead real fast it's pretty disrespectful to her though isn't it keeps calling her a whore every time dredging of the river beneath schofield's apartment bore some fruit They've recovered about 12% of the data so far. Field and Burroughs. Be negative. I know. I reach out to the media. How about don't? It is our policy, excuse me, it is our policy not to announce deaths until they're confirmed. Not an exploding car and a blood match. Well, then do more tests. Did she say it was a blood match? I, I thought she was saying that, you know, it wasn't them, but it just sounded like she was saying it was. Totally forgot he was hitchhiking. Well, catching a ride. Take me 
home. My country home. We're doing like 65. Yo, 65. slow down. Right, Dad. See, you can't be sketchy, can you? Do you know what I mean? I thought I'd say this, Schofield, but I thank God for the day you walked into Fox River. And out of it. Didn't your mama tell you how to treat a lady? I don't see a whore like this one. Blink. Again, look. Got a problem there, Burroughs? Well, we're out of time. Unless there are any burning desires. Actually, I'd like to. Lance and I'm an addict. Mother died of MS. Just like my grandfather did, just like my sister did, just like I. Lance, MS isn't usually considered genetic. Really? What are you, what are you a doctor? <laughs> look at him, he knows what he's doing. Actually. Is this a different group than the last time and he's turned up again? I'm sure not with him because he did speak last time as well. Six days from now, John, you'll be in Sardinia. Sylvia. I'm glad that we're getting a bit of his story. What's he trying to do? Get a feeling? What the hell are you doing? Before that, right? But what are the odds that that car would be getting searched? Like, I don't actually understand it. I mean, the only way you can think of is they found the doctor being tied up, and then obviously his vehicle's gone missing and they've tracked it down. But, like, do you know what I mean? From the second that he's got out of the car, he's literally been probably out of it for five minutes. He turns up, there's police there. Like, what, what is the odds on that? Now, obviously, he's trying to get the feeling back in his fingers that's why he's obviously touching it but like you would think he'd just be able to do that anyway by touching the wall or touching anything <laughs> do you know what i mean he wouldn't need to stab himself for it he'd be able to feel it and i have no idea how long it's going to take for him to get his senses back or whatever you want to call it because i never even knew that it was even possible to even stitch your hand back on so to me it's fascinating it actually really is and i know that like he's in pain but i would have thought it'd be in way worse of pain so again it's interesting for him they're all going to this same location a brute said doesn't seem like he's actually after the money. You know, he seems like he's got his crew. I'd lay low. I would stay there. I would do exactly what his boys told him. I wouldn't even go after it, to be honest. I'd rather be safe and away and have no money in a place where no one can extract me than be in a place where I could get arrested, potentially, chasing after a couple of million to try and set me up. Do you know what I mean? My freedom's way worth more than the money, in my personal opinion. Well, and you're just a sad sack that has to go back into town and get a new one. All right, everybody out. Careful. Don't touch me. I risked my life. For $10,000, I risked my life. And this entire time, you've had $5 million just waiting there. I could kind of understand why she would be pissed, to be honest. Getting 10k from 5 mil. <laughs> I need to talk to you alone. What do you want? To ruin his life like he's ruined mine. Don't understand how he's ruined your life. Like, literally, there's not... Like... Let's be honest, he's not ruined her life at all. What, what what has actually been ruined apart from yesterday she was chilling, today she's just stuck with Bellic pointing a gun at her. Yeah, okay, it's inconvenient, a gun at her, but it's not ruined. You've not been found out. you still got your green card. you still got your job. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's literally no change. I can get it's an inconvenience here, but your life is not ruined. It's just an over-exaggeration, that. Hey, buddy. Where are you coming from? I was just hitting the head, boss. What's your name? Clyde. You got any ID, Mr. May? I don't, uh, Why would they be asking him for ID? I don't really have any ID for say. Camel jockey left a big box of boom boom under my jeep back in Kandahar. And we got a vehicle here without a driver. And at present, you're the only driver without a vehicle. There's a hippie kid dropping a deuce in the facilities. He came in with that car not two minutes ago. What were you, army? Hell no. <laughs> Call. Under 96. Never heard of it. Found these in his knapsack. After he said he had no car. And what's he getting arrested for? Like, like literally, like, what does he get arrested for? What did he just get arrested for? Like, honestly, like, they never even said it was stolen or anything. They just said, there's a vehicle here without a driver. Yeah, so, I don't, I actually have no idea. Do you know, a couple of things stress me out as well, right? I was going to say it last episode when Sucre was pulled over and they go, license and registration, please. And then they go to the glove box and open it. Is that an American thing? Because not one put I, I, I will I bank my life on it. Honestly, I really will bank it. Go into anybody in England now and say, go in your glove box and have you got any vehicle documentation to show that you're the owner and it is not there. I will put it on me, honestly. I've never once had it. In my glove box, pair of sunglasses, that's it. Nothing else there. Like, 
all the time you see it in films pull it over have you got your vehicle information yeah sure officer i've got it no mate i've never seen that once and it's like then why did he always ask for names and ids and stuff like that like when people are just normal i don't know if that's a thing that happens all the time but like that was un whatever happened to him just then in that situation was just like unnecessary you know he just walked past and he started asking him grilling him asking him for information where's he from where's he working or it's just like do you even need to say that i, I would literally just be like have i done anything wrong no well i'm going then like what what, what are you grilling me for they need us to get that money i admire your optimism <sighs> she's rolling man so you want to ruin scopia's life we'll get in line money you want money 10 grand, how's that sound? We'll do it right now, right there in those floorboards. I'm talking about millions of dollars and you piss it away for sex. Find out where that money is, your fair shares. $200,000. Out of five million, that's not <laughs> I got the gun, girl. It's actually shocking off her because there's 400 grand sat on the floor. Fibonacci's in DC. Yeah, and he's in Denver, Atlanta, Miami. No, 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 this time it's for real. Is this information any good? It's from New Jersey. Get the car. Mate, he'd rather take Fibonacci out of your head and his own family and save you. But you want to risk it all? Disrespect us and for what? For vengeance? I'd rather die than going back. There's no going back. I did kind of want him to get Fibonacci, though. I'm not going to lie. 20 miles from Gunnison. Who's that? Nobody. It's just my father. Do you mind if we stop the next motel? It's only like 4 o'clock. Yeah, but we've been driving forever. It's my car, and I'm tired of being in it. Okay. You'd know something to dodge you is up. Do you know what I mean? Like, just seeing you on the phone and then yeah, you're starting to be again, like, hostile yourself. I feel like she might be playing Bellic so that she can help them, even though, like, she's making it look like she's against them. It takes time to gain a man's confidence. You're right. I'm bad on anything I say. Oh, yeah, I knew just it. Just tell me where we trap him and I'll tell him that's where the money is. I knew that she'd be trying to help them. I do feel like she's got her own little thing that she wants going now. You're the guy from the gas station, right? <laughs> Seems to be purring along now, huh? I heard you telling the cop back there about your hand. My old man was killed in Nam when I was a kid, so I have the utmost respect for our servicemen. Listen, if you need a ride or something. My dogs are kind of barking. <laughs> All right. Hi, I'm Danielle. Is he a weirdo with kids? I uh, don't know. Look at him. He's like, oh, I've been handed a good day. Oh, it's a bit weird, man. Hey. What do you want? I need to use the bathroom. She's going to tell him some fake info now. They plan to trap him. He's got friends in Utah. Criminal. They grow drugs on the farm there. Not tell you that's where the money is, but no money. And just old friends with guns. But 200,000 was old price for this information. If it wasn't for me, it'd be face down in a marijuana farm. Are you going to slap me? I've slept with men for a lot less, trust me. I won't have the never in a thousand years. That was negotiating. <laughs> Maybe she does somehow like manipulates him and takes his gun on him or something because obviously he's in there, he's got his knife, you've just seen him clip it from his belt. Obviously he's going to have his gun with him as well. I've seen it before, mate. Do you know what I mean? Like somebody will put themselves through something so that they can gain an advantage. And I can't really blame her if that was the case. If she wanted to free herself from that, sleep with him, take his gun, pull it on him. Or even getting him into a position where she don't have to sleep with him, but where he's vulnerable. Do you know what I mean? And then, boom, she strikes. Also, if she did want to kind of go against him, one million is a, is a, still a decent offer. You know what I mean? So if her, him and Gary went and got that money, that's five mil, split it, you know, one to her, two each. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't complain, really, when you was in nothing two days ago he was in prison you know what i mean like working with john abruzzi and all that to get that extra paycheck so you know what i mean i'd rather take two million and nothing everything all right boss yeah let's get this over with every time i trusted someone i got burned every time i got close to someone i got screwed i don't know the number i can't talk anymore i have to go Yo, check it i i know this might be a little forward and all but um you got a man you're Mormon, you guys. I'm not Mormon. When I land, I want 12 armed agents waiting for me on the ground. <laughs> Tell them I want to go straight to the motel from the airstrip. You got it. What are the odds that you're actually a doctor? All right, fair enough. They're probably not good, but, um, and I should not have interrupted you, and I'm sorry. Is he just going to try and make conversation over the next coming days and weeks or something, whenever the classes are? Get closer. Kind of looks like Demi Lovato, that. Is it Demi Lovato? Buy me a room for the night. 
But I was wishing we could have kept going on toward Utah. Beyond for a minute. That's kind of insulting, isn't it? But adults are always trying to infantilize girls your age, treat you like children. Mm. Yeah, no duh, my dad won't let me get earrings and I'm 14. Uh, you're, you're, you're more than old enough to, to choose how you want to uh, dress or uh, accessorize. What are you doing? Just in need of a friend. No, no, you know, I'm, I'm telling I'm my dad. I mean, he is, he is creepy, isn't it? It is creeper, it's proper creeper. You and I are going to work this out. Can you try to burn him again? Like, burn his head or something with the iron? How stupid do you think I am? I knew that she was going to try and go for it. Didn't do it well enough. She tried, you got to appreciate the effort. shame on you. Fool me twice and I put you in the ground. That's probably the first kiss he's had in time. Oh, she's took the knife. I carried it. The cons can change it. You know, Stupid is the prison doc, you know that? And her too made her think you loved her and look what she got. An overdose and a shot at 30 years inside. Shut up! <laughs> Hit a source blind, didn't it? Oh. Dad. <laughs> oh, tell me he's killed her dad. He always wears his hat on the side as well. Really is like the best plan I've ever had. You know what he needs though? Get some crap. <laughs> <laughs> no, not a lot. A pinch. What do you want? I don't have time to talk, but there's a lot I want to say. I heard about what happened. I want you to know how sorry I am. Anyone with any ties to me and my brother is in danger now. There's a way I can protect you. It's already in your possession. What are you talking about? What is he talking about? It's real, Sarah. You and me. On to the motel. Approximately 10 minutes, sir. Yeah, Tweeny should be caught now. If he's in that hotel room now and they're 10 minutes away, he should be getting caught. Again, do you reckon this in falls good? Last time we seen Fibonacci, it wasn't in something like this. Uh, I reckon they've set him up, me, somehow. I don't know who it is that's done it, but he's been set up. But well, someone's in the shower. You're looking for the rat, John. Fibonacci's 2,000 miles from here. Oh, right. They've gone to the different motel. He said he'd rather die than go back to prison. back to Fox River today. Or the morgue. That's your call. Oh, if he goes out and takes one shot, he is going to die. Got a weapon. Right here. Is there serious men here? Kneel and put your hands on your head. And kneel all day to God. Yeah. Stubbornness or whatever, his prize for vengeance. He's deaf, do you know what I mean? He didn't even get Fibonacci and he's died himself and now he's not got to be with his family. Oh, we're going to the scene. Bait and switch he does there. You know, I called it last time with the prep vice president and the president. Like, I was thinking the bottle, it wasn't actually for her, it was for somebody else and it was for him. You know what I mean? But they made us think that it was for her and they done it this episode. I actually thought that she was calling him in, me, Tweena. She might still have, but it's definitely not these guys that are going to pick him up if that's the case. She might have called the local cops, the sheriff, I don't know. But these guys obviously went and got um, a brute set, and he's actually dead. So, you know, I've been asking what we're going to do with him. I would like to see him in T-Bag go forward, maybe get a put in stuck in a prison together, use a different storyline, but no. That's it, we decided to write him out. Now, to be honest, he's not as heavily influenced or been in it as much as the other guys you know last season he did have a bit of an absence when he got cut in the neck and taken out and then obviously this season as well he's only been in i would say technically this episode he was in the first but only a little bit so if there was a character that you could have took out it was him but again if you think about it it's a waste for his death you know he's determined that much to get somebody that he wanted to i don't know get revenge for that he was willing to lose himself and his family all in it when he could have literally been sat there waiting i sailed off into the sunset and been with people that he's wanted to be with after well forever do you know what i mean it's madness my dad's an air force colonel nightmare over protected dads mm -hmm. told him i was traveling with you told him that we were staying in the same hotel room <laughs> you got to learn how to lie what are you thinking <laughs> He was mad enough when I told him I was staying in a hotel room with a guy. Yeah, that was one yeah. thing. When I told him I was staying in a hotel with a guy that I maybe sort of like, he lost mm. it. <laughs> At least let us take you into town. If I'm seen with you, it's a lot of trouble. Be safe. Good luck. Oh, here we go. I loved you, Michael. 
I deserve more than just being the girl that you call when you need something. I turn you in, I get $200,000. Don't come any closer, I'll shoot you. You'd have to run and take her out, two on one, hope yeah. Yo, man, you are... That was smart from Lincoln. He expected something. That was so smart. <laughs> She's not getting a 10k transfer now. She's not getting a 400k, because I'm pretty sure they got 300 for turning over Lincoln, the vice president's, you know, brother's killer. They're saying the way you played it, there was only one possible outcome. HQ has a problem with the way I do things. They can pick up a gun and follow me into the field next time. Schofield always knew the rat was the key to a bruisey. We just put it out on the wire and the bruisey bit. The crash was staged. Guy's obsessed with this man. I want to know who he is. The problem with being that clever is that sooner or later you end up getting too clever for your own good. You have no idea what you're in for. Do you know the way they're doing it with this new character? Because clearly this guy, this, this one here, obviously is obsessed with Michael because he's failed to capture this criminal I can't remember the name, like, like I'm terrible with them. But the other criminal that they failed to capture in the past keeps getting dropped in. Now, if he doesn't get introduced into the show as a character, it's kind of disappointing. I feel like it's decent to drop somebody in because, how can I say it, the way they built it up, it's, it's good. It's like when your sports team is about to sign a player. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know if you relate to it, but, like, You'll see somebody, they'll say they're interested in signing somebody. So what you do is you go and research them. You look at them, you get watch highlights, you get excited for them. They don't play for you, but you've already got a little bit accustomed to them. So then when they get dropped into your team, you're already happy with everything that's kind of going on and they hit the ground running. You know what I mean? It's like in a when you was a kid and you was watching wrestling. Do you know what I mean? Like they always used to tease a new a new person was coming to the to the roster and they always put these little montages in. So then when they did arrive, it wasn't just like, oh, this is just Steve. Who the hell's this guy? You know what I mean? It's more like, yo, this is him. And he's got all this about him. And that is kind of what I think that they should do to this guy if they do implement in him. We've seen him a couple of times, so we know who we've seen his face. So when he gets put in the show, we could like, ah, there he is. And if they give us a bit more of his background and what he's done and, you know, where he possibly is, that means that when he comes in, he's just straight ground running. It's not a new character that we have to build up because we slowly dripped him in across the time. That's what I would like anyway. You know, I feel like a brute is gone and this guy could come in. Now, again, it is easy. They could have, well, do you know what I mean? Baited the brutes out. Just put literally a Fibonacci here. Boom, he's gone straight away. He took it. Didn't even have to... Mate, it was so easy, that one. They didn't even have to, like, um, do anything, anything else. It was just, like, names here. He went straight away. Went on his own. Didn't have any backup. I know that. His superiors were just saying there that why didn't he intercept him on the way in? Because basically the position that they left in was only going to be one outcome. Him coming out and getting shot and getting killed. I kind of understand a little bit what they're trying to say. But I understand as well from his point of view. Now, technically, I reckon this guy did want to just kill him. I'm not going to lie. That's what I am going to put out there. But we never know. That's hearsay. You know what I mean? None of us know the facts apart from him. But I actually think that he did actually intend to kill him. But to, to back his counter up of saying... It was the best play. It was, in my opinion, that is the best play. Like, why would you potentially risk, while the Brutus is outside in the open, uh, making a noise or showing that you're there and giving the chance to escape? If you corner them into a room with nowhere else to go, that's it. You're winning. That, Like, as soon as the Brutus went into that room, there was no escape. He literally was getting killed or getting arrested. I know that getting killed is probably not what the state wants, but... That was the best outcome of achieving your goal of bringing him back. And, you know, that's why I was kind of surprised that Bellick and Roy actually crashed into them at the start of the episode. And, uh, you know, because it could have easily gone wrong where they crashed into them and spun out themselves and Michael and Lincoln got away. Luckily for them, obviously, they crashed into a tree and managed to capture them. But if it was me and I said it last episode, I would have followed them, waited until they were sitting ducks like a brute there, nowhere else to go, pulled a gun on them, just like he's done here, pulled a gun on, obviously, um, I forgot his name now, I was going to call him Fibonacci, pulled a gun on him, and then give him one option. A brute, he took the wrong one, he's been killed, 
they obviously could have been in the same situation, but they've managed to escape today. She nearly pulled a gun on them. She nearly flipped it. You know, she nearly called them in. Lincoln fought fast on his feet, took the uh, took the mag out, and now obviously they've left her on one way, and they've gone the other. Another interesting thing as well. Boom, they've called up. Sarah Michaels told him that it was real. He loves her technically. He didn't really say that, but that was the insinuation. And he said that he's already got something in motion for her. And like I said, I would like to know what he said on that, um, you know, on that duck that he gave her. If we don't find out in a couple of episodes, I'm actually going to go back and see if I can translate the dots to see what it actually says. But I'll wait to see if they actually do tell us in a couple of episodes because... Um, now I'm teased, you know what I mean? I'm really interested to find out. Okay, that is going to wrap up today's episode. Thanks so much for checking out the channel today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. So that's one convict down. Yes, eight escaped, seven are still going. One is dead. Still not seeing anything to do with Haywire. Guys successfully on the run. Who would have thought the lone wolf? Now, oh mate, we had um, a bit of teabag in today's episode. And again, his creepy side did come out. Now, I really do enjoy his character. I really do think he's entertaining. I think his acting's really good. But then I've got to acknowledge that he is proper creeper. And I, I, some situations are just dead weird. Proper uncomfortable, if I'm being honest. I mean, that girl, I'm pretty sure it was Demi Lovato, which is <laughs> actually is pretty interesting. But, you know, he, when he got his car, you know, got the ride off that guy, you could tell me, as soon as you seen the girl in the back, he was like, yo, this is the best day ever. Obviously, they've stopped off at a motel, seemed to rest. Obviously, the guy's back's hurting. He's tried to see his opportunity, gone outside. He was like, look, you're not... You're not a young girl, you're a woman and all that. And he kind of like put his arm around her. She done really well, if I'm being totally honest. She didn't wait, she didn't linger. She got up straight away and left, told her dad. Now, the insinuation is the dad's dead. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Now, we don't actually know that, but that's what it looks like. You know, he's gone in a room, she's gone out. He was getting the iron ready to obviously beat T-Bag up with. Um, then the next time she seen him, she thought it was a dad driving a car and it wasn't. It was him with a bit of blood on the face. She dropped the solder and then obviously he's just bounced off. So again, he's been out. He's killed two people. We know that before he actually went in prison, well, for prison, he killed six. And now obviously he's escaped. He's killed two with a dodgy hand both times as well. So he's not even bothered him. He's just plowing through everybody. He's still on his way to get the money. We know that Bellick and Roy are still tied up. They've been in the season quite a lot, to be honest. Fair play to them. I think Bellick's a good character. I don't mind how we use him. Um, you know, he's obsessed with calling uh, Nika a whore, or whatever her name is. You know, I kind of don't really like that, but I like how she tried to use him. Didn't really work out. I was trying to figure out whose side she was kind of playing, if I'm being honest. She seemed kind of happy when Michael rang Sarah, but I'm not going to lie. He rang her, told her that he liked her. You know what I mean? It was all real. Killing room was sat in the background. He was listening. Earwigging. When he heard the name Michael, he was like, get in there, mate. This is my opportunity. You know what I mean? If she's getting close now, I could tell her she's possibly going to meet up. That's what I would do if anyway. If I was him, I heard the name Michael, I would start implementing myself in different scenarios where obviously she was. Where she's going, I'd follow her um, because hopefully I'd be praying that she takes me where I need to go. So that's interesting. We'll see more of them. This is the second place that they've kind of encountered each other. Kind of like how we said, what, are you a doctor? And she was, you know, is it? Well, obviously we know she is, but it's it's funny that because he knew she was as well. But in reality, do you know, when you say that in real life, you know, when somebody gives you a bit of information, you say, what, are you a doctor? Uh, do you know what I mean? Are you a therapist? <laughs> it's like, yeah, I am. It's like, oh, shit, I didn't mean that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, so that's decent. Like I said, Abruzzi is dead. So that's one down. I'd like to see Kukre now just rock up in Vegas. Do you know what I mean? Turn up at the altar. Does anyone have objections? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Sack you, Hector. Do you know what I mean? Have, have him beat him up. Do you know what I mean? Try and grab her. Try and run away together. I hope that he succeeds if I'm being nice. I could pick anyone to succeed. I would pick him. I really do like him. And obviously, he's got so much love for Marie Cruz. He's escaped early for her. He's having a baby. He's buzzing when he was going to be a dad wanted. Do you remember when he was sat down and she told him? And obviously, he was devastated 10 minutes later when she said that Hector proposed a marriage and um, she was really seriously considering it. Um, You know, so I'm interested to see what we do with them. Like I said... Everybody is going to get caught at some point. It's just how. Today's was interesting. I thought it was going to get tweener. That's what I thought, mate. I thought Tweener was going down and he bait and switched us and took a Brutzy out. Tweener is actually still okay in the motel. She was kind of sketchy. She was on the phone. I thought she was calling somebody, but it was obviously her dad. Then later on again, he come out of the shower or whatnot. She was calling somebody again. I thought she was getting ready to hand him over. And she was getting ready to leave as well. And he said she was sweating. She didn't look like she was sweating to me, but she did look a little bit nervous. Um, then... She sat down, she's kind of like laid it out on the line, to be honest. She was like, look, mate, it was my dad. He's been arguing and saying that I was kind of sharing a room with a guy that I actually liked. I thought he wasn't actually going to go through with it, if I'm being honest, because 
I felt like he thought that like, he felt bad for her because obviously he was using her and he seems like an all right guy you know he's in this position because he stole a baseball card which i mean it is pretty ruthless isn't it let's be honest it was and now obviously there was make making out anyway um i'm wondering how um or what's going to happen to her because i feel like anybody that kind of associates with them something bad will actually happen next episode i hope that we get seen all turning up to the house and seeing his wife or kids and um seeing what happens with them she was last seen sat down talking to the woman you know what i mean um at the request of the detective to basically get information from her and basically see why she wasn't actually visiting him in fox river he said that it was a broken kind of relationship so i don't know what was said there but again i'd like to see uh some of him now and uh you know it's been a good start to the season thanks for checking out today's episode if you did enjoy please smash the like really helps out subscribe if you're new and as always i'll catch you in the next one cheers guys